Hey guys, it's Christy from Jeff Code Art, and I am excited to share my first acrylic pour with you. This was the recipe that I followed. It was someone else's I found online, and I will go into how that did and did not work for me. So this is my pouring medium flow troll that I used, along with OGX coconut milk hair serum, which I know sounds weird, but it's skin friendly, whereas silicone is not as skin friendly. And I'm um, just getting started with my colors. I poured each color into its own cup, and then I added the Floetrol, I added the, the silicone hair serum, and I added the distilled water. But, what I found, the, the more I worked with this pour, is that that ratio is really, it's just too much water. Um, I, I kind of tweaked it after about three of these and only would put like a splash of water. And that seemed to do a little bit better. Um, so basically the the formula that you saw at the beginning, if you follow that, you might find that your acrylic pour is a bit runny, and these tiny little white spots, which I'm fixing right now in the video as you can see, um, the canvas would show up beneath the paint. Um, and it just, like over and over and over again, I kept having to um, touch up with that knife, whether it was on the canvas or on the side. But um, also, another mistake I made was I did not mix my flow trawl and paint well enough. So you don't want to whip it into a frenzy. You want to like kind of fold in the, fl the flow trawl. But you really do want to do that for, um, I do it a couple of times now. And I found that I don't get as many lumps on my painting, which I did get lumps on this and on my second and my third one until I started adjusting how well I stirred the Floetrol and how much distilled water I added. So go easy on the water. I saw a really great, um, I read a really great blog article um, by someone who does acrylic pours way more than I've, I've done. And she said, you want the consistency of um, warm honey once you mix your paint and your pouring medium. And um, you can see the hair serum, which has the same ingredient that silicone has in it. It creates these pretty cool cells. I still think I'm going to buy some actual silicone because I'm not getting as big of ones as I'd like and I'm really putting a lot of serum in there. And this is the end result. Thanks so much for watching. I've got some more coming up, and you should totally try this if you watch it and you think it's so cool. It really is. It's fun, and it doesn't take that long. Thanks so much for watching. Happy creating. Bye.